My account has recently been disabled on Instagram for no apparent reason. This is literally the exact message that I received when I tried to log into Instagram on Saturday morning. No reasoning behind it, no options to speak to anybody, no options to even know what I'm supposed to do next. After digging nonstop for the last two days, I filled out multiple forms, maybe two to three different forms that I filled out and even figured out a way to chat with someone on Facebook. So I've sent incorporation documents, licenses, photos of me, phone numbers, emails, Facebook URLs, utility statements, social security numbers, girlfriends, nudes, and even then, all of this has led me to just sitting in limbo, waiting to hopefully, maybe, hear back from Meta and recover my account, which I've built up literally from zero over the past five years to over 250,000 followers. Five years of blood, sweat, and tears. Hundreds, if not thousands of hours of creating content, of me spending time educating and elevating the space, talking with followers and subscribers, helping people out. And now all that time, that work, that energy spent, has all been taken away by an algorithm. To be disabled by an algorithm when my comment section is filled with hundreds of obvious bots that are looking to scam people who seem to never get removed. And let's not forget the multiple fake Instagram accounts that copy not only my business page, Bitcoin Daily, but also my personal page that no matter how many times I and my followers report these pages, never get removed. It is unacceptable. It makes you question, what the f is this algorithm bot looking for? There needs to be more security and protection, not only for the community, but also for the content creators in the community. We put our blood, sweat, and tears into this. We put all of our energy into this. We need more control and transparency when it comes to things like this. This type of thing completely derails our motivation to continue doing what we do day in and day out, every single day, 365 days a year. This is unacceptable, Zuckerberg. This experience has definitely opened my eyes on um, me needing to diversify myself onto multiple social platforms and not have all my eggs in one basket type of thing. The same way I treat my investment portfolios. I have or had 250,000 followers on Instagram, built it from zero organically over the last five years. The next closest platform to that is YouTube, I guess, where I have 13,000 subscribers now. Then Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook on all of those, I have less than 1,000 followers on each of those. And that's because it's difficult to create unique, valuable content consistently for each of them. Because for each social media platform, you need to deliver the content differently. It's not all the same. But I guess I have to change my approach on this from now on. If you or anyone you know can help me in this matter, getting my Instagram back online, if you or anyone you know has a contact over at Instagram or Meta or Facebook, I don't even know what to call it anymore, who can help with this issue, I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. And of course, I'd return the favor in whatever matter I can be of service to you, be of value to you and to whoever it is that helps me. Please guys, like this video, comment on it, and share it for the YouTube algorithm so that we can reach as many people as possible to hopefully get it into the right person's hands. This is currently what I'm seeing right now when I try to log in. As you can see, it says, your account has been disabled for violating our terms. Learn how you may be able to restore your account. So when I go to that link, this is where it brings me. And these are the terms that I supposedly violated let's go over them support for a violent or criminal organization or group i have never ever done that so strike that one out 
credible threats to harm others or the promotion of self-destructive behavior. I have never done that either. The next thing is targeting individuals, which I'm not even sure what that means, but I have never targeted anyone. The next thing is hate speech or singling people out based on race, ethnicity, national origin, religion, sex, gender, sexual orientation, disability, or disease. I have never, ever, ever done that. And the final thing is graphic content, including sadistic displays of violence against people or animals and depictions of sexual assault. I have never done that. So I think that we can all agree I have never broken any of these rules. I have never done anything against these terms in the five years that I've been running and building my brand on Instagram. So of course on the bottom it says, if you think this was a mistake, please let us know. And that just brings you over to this page right here. So once you fill it out, it just, nothing happens, that's it. It takes you to this landing page here. And that's pretty much it. So I am currently stuck in limbo. Again, guys, please like and comment on this video. This will help with the YouTube algorithm to get it to reach as many people as possible. And hopefully the right person gets to watch this and is able to help me out. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys mean the world to me and I wouldn't be doing this without you guys. Hopefully I can get the Instagram account back up and running and everything should be fine. But until then, you guys can follow me on my backup account, bitcoin.updates. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, bitcoinxdaily. And you guys can follow me on TikTok, bitcoin.daily. All the links for this are in the description. And if any of them don't work, then just send me a message in the comments. I also have links there to my Discord and Telegram as well. Alrighty guys, I'll keep you updated on what happens. Peace and love.